when you spend, let's say, $1,000 or more on a high-end scope, you naturally expect it to, to work perfectly and, and track perfectly and return to zero perfectly. But naturally, when you purchase a, a budget scope, let's say $500 or under, you're going to be a little bit concerned about where the corners were cut with internal components and tolerances and the way everything's put together. We believe that whether you have a budget scope or not, if the scope is made to be dialed, it has to track perfectly. So we've worked really hard to ensure that our Helix model, which is our sort of uh, entry level model, um, has a tracking error of less than 1%. We've worked really hard to do that. And while most scopes in this price range may have a two to 4% tracking error, sometimes even worse, um, we're gonna show you that our four to 16 Helix, as with the 6024 uh, first focal plane Helix, tracks perfectly and returns to zero perfectly. So we've got one here on the collimator, which is an instrument that we use to check uh, things like reticle calibration and um, tracking precision. And we are going to hit record on this camera. This unit's in, in mils and so is the collimator, so it'll be easy to check. And we are going to start right on zero and we are going to go up That's six moles, one full revolution. And let's just keep going. That's 12 moles, that's another full revolution and it is tracked 100% perfect, not even 1% error. So that's great. But does it return to, return to zero? Let's check. There you go, perfectly on zero. So this model has uh, tracked perfectly and I can guarantee you, this is not a, a, a one in a million. Every single scope on our shelf does this. So we're really proud of that. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. See you next time.